Okay, hi. Today I am recreating this Venus look from Berlin in 2013 during the Art Pop era while promoting Art Pop and Venus. If you would like to learn how to recreate this look, then keep watching. Venus. This is one of my most requested looks of all time, surprisingly enough. For me, not for you. Let's get into the skin. So I've already prepped. I did a Jan Marini exfoliating pad treatment, serums, Embryolis. So in a lot of the photos with flash photography, this skin appeared very pale, almost like a white cast but that was all an illusion. <laughs> there was white makeup on her arms, hands, and feet, which I will show you, but not the skin. The Glamour Awards version of this, yes, but not this one. So I would mix this Chanel LeBlanc, which is my favorite, and this Chanel LeBlanc. <laughs> but this is a sheer illuminating base, and this is a light revealing, brightening makeup base. You know what, honestly, they probably don't make either of these anymore, but YOLO. So these are very beautiful and I use these on the rigs. So as you see, it comes out this like pinky white sort of color. We'll mix that with a little bit of this Integrate from Japan. It's like a sheer tint. A dab of this Garnier, but this one is in color Hell, which I believe means fair. So we're still going for a very sheer cover, but we want it to be paler than last time. So whatever you have that is fair, this is Makeup Forever and Y205. So you don't need to go white white, you just wanna go beautiful, fair, sheer and illuminating. So I'm gonna use my MAC trusty stipple brush, stipple all these together. You can see the mixture on my hand, it does have like almost a white cast, but not really. It's a beautiful like illuminating vibe. So the look is like very ethereal, skin like a goddess is what you're going for. Almost like translucent skin. <laughs> Okay, so then I'll get my beauty blender and we'll spray with some of this eminent stone, stone crop hydrating mist. And we're gonna, we do that because we wanna keep everything very moist. I know people hate that word. And just roll the rest of that product into the skin. Keeping it moist does help for the product to like join forces with your skin. So it's not just like sitting on top of there and looking all makeup-y. So as you can probably see so far, I'm looking very fair, but it's not like a Halloween-y skin, you know? So we will touch up later with some spots of concealer, but this is where some of the magic begins to happen. All right, so I'm gonna take my Gray Free by Giuliano in Light Blonde. And this is a quick and easy way to faux bleach the brows. So for this look, the brows were bleached. So to make it look like my brows are bleached without the commitment, you can use a mascara like this that is like a root mascara and just coat the hairs and ta-da I have a bleached brow so then I like to take either a brush or a, I'll do a q-tip just clean up the edges so we have a nice clean brow delish ta-da my brows are gone <laughs> All right, and then as I tend to do, Becca Beach stains were on the lips. So I'm gonna start building that here. 
Mm -mm -mm. And this color is watermelon. Sorry, it's called Becca Beach Tint, not Stay. The eyes in this area was made to look a little more what people are describing as spooky <laughs> using white definer on the eye area and the lashes. So I'm gonna use Marc Jacobs Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon in Big Eyes. Looks like this. They're, these are fabulous pencils. So I'm gonna go and line the eye out on the top. Kind of give it a little point here. This helps to create, take this from like a super beautiful place to a more like ethereal avant-garde sort of place. So there you have that. Now I'm going to curl the lashes and prime the lashes. And if you have a primer that like gets really white and makes a real, you know, big difference, in the whiteness, like the Lancome one, used to leave my lashes extra white, then I would say just leave it there. You don't need to like go in with extra white mascara. Let's see how this one does. Yeah, so I still want them whiter, but I do believe on the day of this particular look that I had a very white primer, which is why the lashes for this one don't look quite as white and intense as like the Art Pop Listening Party lashes, which are super white. So go ahead and cut the bottom ones too. All right, so we're gonna go back in with our Marc Jacobs Big Eyes. And I'm just gonna go into this corner here and the waterline, get a little wider. These are really good waterline pencils. All right, so I have this Cryolin Mascara in white. Don't use anything that's not meant for your eyes. That would be my number one hot tip because <laughs> you will not be happy with the results and cryolin makes like lots of special effectsy products that are really cool and really fun to play with all right now i'm going to take this chanel illusion d'ombre in 81 phantasm this looks like dun, 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 this so i'm just gonna like do a little dip to dip dab that's going to give me a little bit like that make sure you screw the lids on this real tight or they will dry up and break your heart you don't want that so with this i'm just going to go a little on the lash line here oh a little bit there and a little on the ball of the eye. Just a very innocent, gentle amount. So that the eyelids look like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now is when we should take our two Giorgio Armani blushes. One is called Blushing Fabric Second Skin Blush. Looks like this. The number of it is that's a great question. I think it says number three, but it looks like that, okay? And then we have our other fluid shear in number six. So I literally do that much. This tube has lasted me forever. Shake the fluid shear up and give yourself a tiny little tap. Like that. Okay. Now first I take a little dip into each little pool with my finger. And middle of the lip. So that color is everywhere. I take my fabulous MAC brush, this stipple brush, and I stipple into that. And we are going to blush it up. Don't you expect anything less from me? All 
right, now I'm gonna take a brush like this and just make sure it's all really well blended in. Blend it in. We got these little Armani babies. In three, one, and four. But we want a very creamy, light concealer because we don't want it to look like concealer. Number four. Number three. I'm gonna do this magic concealer again, the pink one. Then we're gonna take this little mini sponge Blend this in. Perfect everything. You just want it to look like flawless. Okay. It's funny because if you watch this in interviews, this look, it looks very beautiful and like normal. But then in certain photos outside, it looks like she has like white makeup on, but she doesn't. It's only on her arms, her hands and feet. Then we take our Tom Ford shade and illuminate palette doesn't matter which color because we're only using the highlight dun, dun, dun. and we're just gonna get highlighted So then I'm gonna take some of this Stila, I think this is Petunia, and just put this lip brush in there. So the point of this look is that you don't want it to look like lipstick, you want it to look like lips, that are just naturally fabulous. So, pop a little of that in there. Get it really nice and rubbed in. Get my little stipple brush. Gently stipple in there. Get a little bit of this beach tint. I wanna say this is watermelon. Let's see, we'll find out in a second. I think that is watermelon. Stipple into that Becca beach tint watermelon. And go back into this cheek. This cheek was quite boldly blushy so we're just gonna add a little more blush to that but only cream blush very high on the cheekbones this gives you like I have the highest cheekbones in the world And then you just want to get that blush, that brush, and just blend the edges a little bit. Um, one more layer of watermelon, Becca, on the lips. So it gives it like that dark, like perfect shade. And that's why your cheeks are so flush and that's why you're so shiny. Like just finished making out with somebody. Now, if you're like me and you're sweating in a hot room <laughs> and you already tend to get oily, you may at this point, for longevity sake, need a little powder. I didn't do powder, but you may need it. So the original look was not powdered, but an amended version for you and for me before we move on to the hands. I'm not going to do my feet because you're not going to see them, but the same thing I do to my hands, you will do to your feet. So a little bit of powder. If you tend to get oily, take a brush like this, this kind of a head, take a translucent powder. I'm using, what is this? This is Derma, Derma Blend. Really any translucent powder. Just it can't have color. To it and just tap it into the places where you get really oily where you have not deliberately added 
any dew. So you don't want to take away any of that beautiful highlight you added, but if it's a place like here where you have not added any highlight, go ahead and just tamper down some of that natural oils so that the places where you have added highlight can shine. And the places where you did not add highlight can get lost. So that's optional, obviously. All this is optional. Watching this video is optional. <laughs> now for the spooky ookie ookies. So I should take my hair down before I do this because once I put this on, there is no turning back. <laughs> All right, there's two great products for this. I'm sure there's a million more. There's like Halloween stores that sell white solid makeup at Halloween time. But here's what I used that made quick touch-ups and fast things very easy. There is the Makeup Forever Color Cream and there is the Makeup Forever Flash Color Stick. So if we were to do a little bit of a glittery white makeup, I would take like a strobe cream. And this is not the mixture from the Berlin listening party, but then there's this Cryolin Glitter Cream. That is like my favorite thing ever. The fact that I'm using a dab of it right now kind of breaks my heart. There's a little dab of that. And then take a shimmer powder. So like something like MAC Silver Dusk. Be very careful, don't sneeze. Oh my God, if Lady barks right now and scares me, I swear. Just take like a little smudgeon of it. You can also do like a pigment, a glitter pigment. I would do that right now, but I'm not in the mood to get super doity. <laughs> Then I'm going to do a little bit of this roller rink glitter jelly, but it looks like that. So I'm going to put some chunks of that in there. I might have let it dry out. It was definitely in gel before. Now we're going to mix this Makeup Forever color cream. It's white. White, white, white. Like that. <laughs> Take our little magic concoction here. Just mix it together. As you can see, once I have started to mix this, I will not be touching much. So then I just apply it up the arms. <sighs> like so. So I'm playing on someone else. You obviously are just swiping it over their hands and their legs to make them look fabulous like this. And I like to add a little bit of shimmer and glitter to it because it just gives it this really fabulous, fabulously spooky texture that's like weirdly ethereal. And then I would take that what's left on my hands and start to just do this under her feet, which is why on her feet it has like more of this kind of a pattern and thickness. So just take what's left over and you could just stamp it like this up your arms to kind of make it so there's not like a stopping line like a harsh line you just kind of i have a bracelet here but you can see if you just kind of do this you won't have a super harsh line where the makeup stops it just kind of gradually turns into skin color and it has this lovely shimmer glitter and it does dry down like it's already getting um it's already starting to dry and get more tacky and less transferable and you're already able to start seeing the glitter i don't know if you can see on camera but it is quite glittery just from mixing those little bits of glitter in
that is the spooky Berlin look. I obviously don't have the contacts, but everything else is here. <laughs> so I hope you liked it. I hope you recreate it and have fun doing it and making up your own versions of this concoction <laughs> and this look. Have fun creating. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace. <laughs>